Okay, so hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Oscar Outdoors. Today I want to talk to you about the Snug Pack Base Camp Explorer Kids Sleeping Bag. Okay, so welcome back everyone. Um, first of all, thanks very much for clicking on my video. Uh, I really do appreciate every single one of you that does come along and watch and take the time to comment. So thanks very much. Uh, but yeah, um, we've locked down over now. Campsites reopening and everything else like that. Um, you know, camping's going to be the way to go, isn't it? You know, people aren't going to want to go abroad and things like that, or are reluctant to go abroad. So camping's going to be the thing. And if, like me, you've got a million and one kids, these are absolutely ideal. Available from Snugs Pack's website for £30. They're available in this blue. Uh, a vibrant sort of pinky purple fuchsia type colour. And also a camo. Uh, but yeah, as I've said, lockdown's over. Camping's going to be the way to go. And if you're looking for a kid's sleeping bag, check these out. Right, I'm going to open it up and get, bring you back. Okay, so first of all, I'll go through what it says on the actual outside of the box. So here we, we say... Uh, the size is 170 centimeters or 67 inches in length at 65 centimeters or 26 inches wide uh, the weight is 1000 grams and the pack size is 24 centimeters or 9 inch by 20 centimeters by 8 inch so yeah this is the base camp explorer for kids on the back it says the base camp explorer is an ideal introduction to snug packs range of sleeping bags square foot shaped sleeping bag was designed with kids in mind these chunky, warm and comfortable bags are made to, to the same exacting standards as the adult bags in the base camp range. Super soft lining that's soft to the touch and technical isofiber insulation providing considerable warmth. Lightweight, colourful and compact in a manageable pack size. Along the bottom, um, I'll go through all these as well. Along the bottom you've got some hanging tabs. So these are perfect if you've got kids that are as young as mine. You know, they are likely to have accidents with you know juice, coffee, tea, hot chocolate or even... Um, you know children problems as well um, but yeah uh, it's got an anti-snag two-way zipper that goes all the way from here along the bottom and to there so down there and up there so that's essentially you can open it up as a quilt as well uh, it's got an insulated zip baffle and an elasticated drawer or elasticated toggle just so that you can cinch it up a little bit around the faces uh, I'll just read these bits for you and then uh, we'll get it open so yeah, the outer fabric is 100% polyester, it's called Aqualite. Uh, it's water repellent fabric, lightweight, 190T polyester construction with a silky soft touch fabric. Uh, the super soft, silky smooth fabric is the inner fabric. It's 100% polyester, super soft. A silky smooth fabric, especially woven to produce a highly durable and comfortable wicking breathable lining. And then finally, isofiber. Uh, it's filled with isofiber, silico siliconized hollow fiber. The synthetic fibers are Structured to trap warm air between tiny cavities in the fibre. When unpacked, the hollow fibres decompress and spring back to gain maximum reloft. I think that is about it. So let's get it open. Okay, so as you can see, it comes in a box just like this. So if you're getting this as a gift, it does make it a little bit easier to wrap, keeping it in the box. Because if you don't like me, you know, you get finger holes everywhere when you're trying to wrap something soft. So yeah, let's open it up. Now, as with all Snug Pack products, it comes in these little clear bag, telling you exactly what the product is. So as you can see, the Explorer Base Camp, and then telling you that it's in a petrol blue colour, and it's a left-handed zip. Okay, so it comes with a beautiful compression sack. Just let me get these uh, knots open. So here the compression sack is the petrol blue and then transitioning yellow colour snug pack logo emblazoned on the side there and then explorer on the other side just there okay on the on the bottom it tells you that it's a snug pack explorer it tells you the weight which is 1000 grams or 35 ounces and it's used isofiber filling 
and then gives you the dimensions of the bag so 170 centimeters or 67 inches by 65 centimeters or 26 inches okay but yeah beautiful compression bag uh, not compressed it at all uh, we'll go through what's on here in a second in fact no we'll, we'll do that now actually uh, on the back so yeah it's a petrol blue square shape uh, 1000 rounds blah 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 in fact I've already talked about all that so I'll just move on okay as I've already said that it is available in the vibrant purple the petrol blue which is the one that I've got here and then the sort of military train camo sort of pack there um, I will leave a link in the description to all of these anyway so you know you don't have to worry about going to search for it yourself let's just talk to you about the fabric so the aqualite which is the outer of the bag uh, it says that it's a water repellent fabric it's lightweight it's 190 t polyester construction and a silky soft fabric uh, water repellent durable fabric okay the super soft which is the uh, inner is highly durable fabric and it has precipitation quickly wicks away so sweat wicks away the inner lining is super soft, a silky smooth fabric, specially woven to produce a highly durable and comfortable wicking breathable lining. Super soft, smooth fabric. That's that one. And then the isofiber, filled with isofiber, siliconized hollow fiber. The synthetic fibers are structured to trap warm air between tiny cavities, blah, blah, blah. We've read all that already. So yeah, it retains, retains heat when wet and it is machine washable, as with most snug pack products. Right, open it up. Okay, so this is the first time that we're going to open this up on camera. So just basically take over the two loops coming from the compression straps on the side. Remove your drawstring, remove your fabric tab, and then just grab your sleeping bag. At the bottom is a, a lovely handle for you to just grab, and then it smoothly comes out of its bag. And just pop that in the box a second. So the sleeping bag itself, as you can see, it's not going to be big enough for me. This is a standard size picnic table. Uh, just leave you up a little bit. Alright, with a square base. These were the tabs that I was on about before for hanging out when drying and things like that. It's just a simple tab where you can loop a little bit of rope through or, you know, washing line, whatever. Alright, so it's a square foot box. So, you know, a high vis zip. Okay, and very, very smooth as well. Now these YKK zippers. Yeah, and then obviously you can open up the bo bottom and pull your kids out and scare them to death. No, I'm only joking. Come around this side, open it up all the way, and essentially turn it into a quilt. So on the inside, you can see that it's stitched in sections. Okay, this helps to keep heat contained in these compartments because if it was all just one, you know, the heat can sort of disperse all around. But having it like this keeps it in little pockets of warmth all over okay so let's have a quick closer look at the stitching i think all these are made in the uk as well all right so we've got a, just a single line of stitching all the way up on each individual compartment all the way up right i'm going to bring you into the top so i'll bring you back in a second okay, so moving on up to the top now this is like a an extra insulated sort of shoulder baffle Okay, so you can imagine that your children's body is going this way and then just having the head pop out over here just helps to cinch around and then form like a, an extra collar whilst they're in the sleeping bag by pulling on this drawstring. Okay, the hood, you know, it feels really, really good, really, really durable. And, you know, it's not going to rip. It is going to take a little bit of stick from, from little ones because we all know little ones don't treat gear as well as adults do okay um, and then you've got another additional sort of draw cord on the top which will cinch down the hood as you can see happening just there that'll right, open it up into a quilt for you he says see it's quite large and so you know they will come in handy as well for if You've got sleepovers and stuff at house, you're not actually camping. You know, so you can get somebody on an airbed or whatever, or on the couch. And you can just open this up and throw this over them as well. I think that's about it. There's no actual temperature rating listed on the website. Uh, but it does say that it's perfect for 
uh, one, is it two to three season? Yeah, so on the lid, as I said, there's no temperature rating listed on the website, so on the lid, but it says the ideal for camping trips in late spring and through the summer. Also handy for sleepovers with your friends, which I've just talked about, which didn't say that on the box before. Uh, but yeah, uh, temperature rating's not listed, but I, I bet you could probably get this down to, you know, the, the low sort of five, six, sevens. Um, other than that, you can add in a blanket or, you know, snug pack, um, jungle blanket, anything like that. So I'll get this put away and I'll bring you back. Okay, so just before I put it away, just sort of showing you the length. I'm five foot ten and the bag is completely on the floor now, so the head hole comes up to just about my shoulders. Uh, so this will probably do for somebody around about 12 to 13 years of age. Um, I've got this one for my little boy who is two. But I have a daughter at six and I have a daughter at ten as well, so guess what I'll be doing? I'll be going back and getting them one, I bet. Right, I'm going to get this put away. See you in a minute. Okay, so when you're putting sleeping bags away, I always like to start with the foot end. Okay, and just sort of roll it up like so. Open up your compression sack and then just begin to stuff. When you're stuffing, just sort of rotate as well. So, you know, just grab a handful of material, push down. Okay, rotate, handful of material, push down. And, you know, continue the process until the bag is completely packed away. Leaving it this way as well, obviously all the air is coming out of the hood. So you're not getting any sort of pockets of air built up and making it more difficult to store away. Yes, I've done that with hardly any effort at all. Pull over your fabric tab just to keep your compression stack closed. Cords up, cord down. Tight your compression straps. Trying to keep them straight. Okay, then begin to compress. So push down, pull, rotate, push down, pull, rotate, push down, pull, and rotate. And repeat the process until you've got it to a pack size where you're comfortable and you know you're not putting too much strain on the actual compression strap or sack. That's it. And you can see that. I'm not using too much energy and the pack is going down quite well. You notice it's getting slightly more difficult, cinching up less and less every time. This will be the last one probably. But yeah, I've got that down to probably a little bit over, well, a little bit under half of what it was, maybe or a little bit over half. Right, I'll bring you back for finish. Okay, so yeah, this has been a review of the Snug Pack Base Camp Kids Explorer Sleeping Bag. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment in the description box below. Let me know what you think about these. If you've got one, if you've used one, or if you're planning on getting one, just because camping season is going to be open in the UK and no one's going to want to go abroad. But yeah, if you've liked it, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.